go. One, two, three, four. Hi everyone, we're back. Let's go. Punch you in the fist. Nothing here. Is there any graffiti as well? No. Because now I'm really curious if all the things are the same. Like that you can find the graffitis. Because if they're not, that would be really cool. If there's, if it's like random X, X number of rooms. <laughs> So, but if they're all, if they all like go to the same place, that would that would be a shame, because I wasn't, I wasn't too impressed with what I found um, at the other place. Like to be perfectly frank, if if I know for sure it's just gonna be that, I am never gonna bother with it again, because the treasure wasn't that good, the XP wasn't that good, and I mean it's a level one, it was a level one floor, so that makes sense. Okay, what kind of pants do I have now? These are infinitely better. Okay, so now I need to go up there and then I'm gonna do the inconsequential quests for treasure. Because there might be a dwarven. Oh, there's even more inconsequential. So the lack of it on the previous floors gets compensated here. Okay, so I am going to move towards the monolith now, or towards the treasure. Killing things in my way. As I am wont to do. There is one member left, which is fleeing. There we go. So, that solves that. No, it doesn't. Okay, now it does. Um, so... You can see, uh, th what that side quest was is I had to defeat a mob of enemies, and you can see those on your map. You can see them; they were walking around here, like the look like in like Space Invaders. Um, and if you if you finish the quest, you get a, you get a treasure, which I did now, which I can ship off, which I also did. Going towards the treasure now that I need to bring to the monolith. Get out of here, stupid blob. Um, where is it? There it is. Pulpo. There we go. Bring it towards the monolith at the other side of the room. Ha! Silly human. And get my... get my gear. And my XP. There we go. That's one. Bam. That's two. That's two, baby. Look at this thing. And look at this one as well. Very good. Very good items. Not usable to me, but they are good. They are good. Send you to a museum. There we go. That's 400 XP. Um, I think I'm done on this floor. Which means... Me going down. Are you ready? Are you ready, Freddy? Uh, did the game just crash? No way. No way. Oh, thank God. It just had trouble because it's been it's been so long since I've reached this floor. It wasn't prepared for me to have reached this floor because it has been a long time. Um, pumpkin are very strong, but they can't they can't hope to match my foot. Which is always very funny to me about unarmed combat, or oh, whatever. Um, so, next thing. Spba! The crab like revelation. Are you better than any of my other rings? You're better than my copper ring. Get in there. There we go. Game often auto saves, but it's not very important. Oh, shit. So, that's the fish paladin. These guys attack with holy damage, which means that my uh, turn into a mummy and have very good health regen spell is very weak. 
in rooms where I have to fight lots of, lots of fish paladins because yeah, their spell does a lot of damage like a lot a lot and I would rather not die if I don't have to so there we go kick the guys uh, not gonna bother with that one acid traps are also very, very dangerous I prefer not to fiddle with them too much oh yeah sorry die you die you die you die Ely is usually pretty strong can't get that one either still don't have teleportation or a skill that knocks back things But he's no longer afraid and returns to fight. It should be afraid. There we go. So I don't know if you noticed, but the heroic vandalism scales with the number of the f with the floor number you're on. So if you're on floor number four, it uh, will give you 400 XP as opposed to 100 you got on the first floor, or 200 that you got on the second floor, which is a cool a cool mechanic because otherwise crushing the statues would still be a thing you did, but would not actually be that worthwhile. So, Gargoyle Trap, kill you, kill you. I think I'm gonna go here first. Just because this is the furthest I need to walk. Just, oh! Oh, the Sandstorm is on a different hotkey now. I have to remember that. Um, although this isn't that big a problem. Because it increased the, s the overall power of my uh, my sandstorm so not that big a loss but not what I intended to do because I didn't really need to on this floor or in this room specifically to become s the sun god basically okay so things I've learned now is that I might not need um, my wizarding license because yeah do it I might not need my wizarding license because leveling up thaumaturgic tap apparently gives me enough of a magic power and regen to just do the thing I need to do the late game so I might replace that with some other skill that I don't really know quite yet, but we'll probably figure out should I do this again at some point, but I don't really know at this point. Although it does give me some early magic power and stuff. So I don't I don't really know. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. My inventory is full again. God. Get out of here. Get out of here! So that's that's basically what happened the last time. Ooh, leader hosen. Leader hosen. Aber nein, Papi. Ich will es gerne ein bisschen tanzen. Uh, send you off. Do I have any other named things? No. Until I got. Nikujumugoya, the crab like lobster. <laughs> oh fuck, I got poisoned. This is the part where I die. No, no. But I will die if I don't quickly become not dying. I don't think the scarecrow saw me, which means I can just digest. Nope, something saw me. No, I went up the stairs! Now I need to go down the stairs and the game might crash again. Luckily, luckily it doesn't. Get out of here. There's a lot of monster mobs here. Get out of here. I'm standing in a cloud of my own toxin. Get out of here. Monster Zoo? Monster Zoo. Okay. S four. <laughs> we'll use it now. There we 
go. Um, so I upped all that to the max. Remember Charlemagne. This relation is all wrong. Yeah. Not like something. I'm probably gonna go with uh, on combat now. I'm gonna replace this one first with the throwing buffalo technique, which is really good. Which I might be able to use to kick back um, treasures on uh, on ledges, which is good. Let me walk into the room whereupon I wrought all this destruction. Look upon me and know that yes, I am this demigod of pain. Where there was fruitful population, I shall only leave destruction in my wake. Look upon the corpses of thine fellows and be wrought with, with, be wrought with, res with regret, for that thou hast crossed paths with me. Oh no, where are the booties? There are the booties. Switch. Your inventory is full. I know, I know, doo doo. Um, yeah, this is a lot better, like by, by a landslide. Okay. Let me just check where it's all this nonsense. Just a sword. Okay, so I came in, I made a bunch of the sandstorms, and now everything is dead. Exactly how I like it. Okay, this is also very good timing because I have a whole ton of stuff to sew. Don't need you, we'll keep you. We'll keep you as well. Get you out of here, and you, and you, and you. Not you though, cause I want to send you off to a treasure house and get XP. Get XP, get XP. So this music really reminds me of. Final Fantasy 7 if you're when you're in Midgar and you're in the um, um like that place where Aerith is kid oh no Tifa is kidnapped too and Aerith turns you into a girl like that place that's the music this reminds me of I won't need these other things <laughs> Man, the, the game is still sending me messages about how much butt I kicked in the um, in, in the monster zoo earlier. Like it's still it's still catching up. This is really funny to me. Um there we go, get the gold Oh, Eyeball Shrine is here, which is a good sign. That usually means there's I like, inconsequential statues strewn about. And there we go. Talk of the devil. Or the god. Whatever. Um, do I just need to... Do I have it? No, I still need to find it. Do I need to beat you for it? Okay. That was easy. That was probably the easiest quest so far. Um, I had to defeat that guy. I take the item he left. And put it onto the eyeball shrine, and so he was in the room across from the statue of Inconsequentia, in the room where the eyeball statue is. So yeah, this is all hunky dory. Okay, I'm gonna try to use this one. Oh fuck. Okay, so I still don't. I thought this kick. Uh, it's this is a kick attack which knocks back the target, and I thought that I could use it on items to knock them back. Unfortunately, I cannot. Um, which sucks, but there's not that much I can do about it. Um, because in order to use the ability, I need to be next to the target, and since I can't be because there's a ledge in between, 
can't kick the thing. Get my 400 XP. There we go. Finally get rid of the later hosen when I still remember. There we go. It's 290. There we go. Um, and I think... Uh, again, I forgot, so I'm going to take a break. We'll be back.